So good evening and welcome to what uh, we hope will whet your appetite for a pre-conference um, Barcelona Google Hangout. Um, as you're aware, there is a workshop uh, happening in Barcelona on breaking down barriers amongst uh, family doctors in Europe, and therefore it gives me great pleasure to host this Google Hangout. My name is Peter Sloan, and I am a GP working in the west of Ireland. I'm also involved in the Irish College of General Practitioners, and also um, I'm the Irish Council Rep to Vasco da Gama. So it gives me great pleasure this evening to welcome three brief, uh, three very preeminent uh, general practitioners from uh, family medicine uh, around Europe. I'm going to introduce them one at a time and then we will discuss very briefly the theme of the workshop uh, which is breaking down barriers or challenges to breaking down barriers amongst uh, general practitioners and family doctors amongst Europe. So I'd like to first introduce our uh, first guest speaker. Uh, this is uh, Job Professor, I should say, Job Metzmakers who is the regional president of uh, Wonka Europe from 2013 to 2016. He is the chair of general practice at Maastricht University in the Netherlands, where he oversees undergraduate and postgraduate program research activities and also relations with other family practices in the region. He's been professor and chair of the department since 2002. He started uh, studying in 1974 when he was uh, the first uh, in the first intake of 50 medical students at Maastricht University in a new course based on problem learning and he's been involved in that course for the last 30 years and his own research interests are in medical record keeping, medical registration, classifications such as the ICPC and the use of data for research. So I'd like to welcome Job. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Peter. It's a pleasure very to welcome. be with you. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, Job. It's a pleasure to have you and I will come back to you shortly with uh, a discussion. Uh, the second speaker I'd like to introduce this evening to you is another very well-known um, general practitioner for your um, professor, uh, Per Kallestrup, who is currently associate professor at the Center of Global Health in Aarhus University in Denmark. Uh, on his CV, he said that he wants to make this world a better place globally and locally, and that we should just do it and enjoy the ride while we're just doing it. Um, so Per has a specialist interest in family medicine and general practice. He has a PhD with a thesis, a thesis in infectious diseases, has worked in rural Zimbabwe and other parts of Africa, and uh, most particularly for us in Vasco da Gama movement, he was the initiator of the Hippocrates Exchange Program, which set up uh, in advance of the Vasco da Gama movement in 2000. So I'd like to welcome you, Per, to our Hangout. Thank you very much. Oh, and I like your flag. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I shall return to you shortly with a, a, a brief discussion. And the last speaker that we have this evening is Dr. Louisa Pettigrew. Uh, Louisa is a young family doctor in London. She's certainly younger than me. And um, she uh, was involved in the Vasco da Gama movement between 2008 and 2011. She coordinated the Hippocrates International Exchange Program in the UK, helped secure some uh, European Union fund granting for the first time. Uh, funding for the first time. She helped establish in the UK the Royal College of General Practitioners Joint, uh, Junior International Committee, uh, which was helping young family doctors in the UK to get involved in international activities. Uh, and in 2013, she um, became elected to um, Wonka as a member at large on the executive board. She's also undertaken a diploma in international health and, um, and uh, a master's in health policy and has worked in various places around Europe. Um, and it gives me great pleasure as well to welcome Louisa. Hello, Louisa. Hello, Hello there. Thanks very much, Peter. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. And I, I will come back to you. So um, I suppose I'm going to return the camera to myself for a little second. Um, the theme on the, the Hangout that we're doing this evening is about overcoming challenges and barriers uh, to family medicine and networking amongst family doctors in Europe. And my interest uh, in this is very much in the area of social media and being able to use social media to break down those barriers. So my very quick uh, uh, contribution to this is doing this Hangout and demonstrating the power and capacity of social media to bring GPs together uh, uh, that are remote. So this evening I am sitting in the west of Ireland, uh, Per is in Aarhus in Denmark, Job is in Maastricht in the Netherlands and Louisa should be in Scotland but she's in London. So uh, that's my contribution. So I'm going to start off by uh, inviting uh, Job, uh, actually sorry, I'm going to start off by inviting Per, hello Per, um, to give us some thoughts about the perspectives and cultures across European general practice that present challenge to uniting us as family doctors. So you might like to tell us what you think. 
Yes, uh, thank you very much, um, Peter. I, I think what uh, what's really what we should work on is not the barriers, but more what actually ties us together. And I think the obvious thing is our profession uh, and our common interest uh, in uh, the people's lived life in the communities where we serve. Um, I think our um, our ability to work in the communities, work with our relations with our patients, uh, with our colleagues, with the communities, that's what ties us together and that's really what we should uh, build on um, uh, and uh, I think uh, what is really important in, in the relation to, uh, to uh, uniting us would be getting to know each other uh, so definitely places like the forum uh, here among uh, 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 or, or organized by Vasco da Gama and other Wonka um, uh, activities are very important for that and other than that I would say also this of using the sources already uh, there to uh, go and visit each other and see the uh, our uh, the way we function um, in our uh, uh, various uh, locations uh, for example using the Hippocrates uh, program uh, for that purpose okay. yeah. And um, do you think, Pear, that there are significant cultural differences amongst uh, family medicine in Europe between either doctors or patients or both that create barriers or are we all much more similar than we like to think sometimes? Um, I, hope, I hope for the similarities because I, I really basically think that the, the, the ties among our professions uh, or, or the way that we uh, would would uh, hope to be able to carry out our profession are very similar. Of course, uh, the conditions that we work on are, are different, and that's where I think uh, the the potential of us getting to know each other, getting to know from the good examples, the the good possibilities, the good conditions, and sharing them among each other uh, is a, a great uniting uh, factor or possibility. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Per. Those are some uh, very interesting comments, and I think uh, it's very noteworthy that uh, as perhaps one of the uh, GPs amongst Europe who has worked in so many different places and is the instigator of the uh, Hippocrates Exchange Program, it's quite clear that you have experienced the breadth of culture and uh, diversity that is within not just European general practice but global general practice. Um, and I think it's very interesting that you highlight the similarities of things that should bring us together rather than barriers. So. Thank you very much indeed for your comments. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm uh, now going to move on to Louisa. <clears throat> and uh, I'd like to uh, ask you briefly, Louisa, would you like to give us your thoughts on training and professional development across your Euro European general practice uh, and the, the challenges and barriers that training and professional development present to networkers, networking us and bringing us together? Sure. Um, I, I think that... Um, Europe has uh, drawn closer together uh, significantly over recent years and I think um, European initiatives such as the um, mutual professional uh, re recognition of professional qualifications and the European Directive on uh, cross-border healthcare um, have been important steps in harmonising healthcare and in um, facilitated collaboration amongst health systems. But the problem is that I think that there still are significant differences, in particular when you look at family medicine training. Um, I think that some of these differences are completely appropriate um, and understandable due to differences in patient needs, uh, differences in cultures, um, differences in health system structures, but um, I think some pose more important challenges um, to the delivery of good health care and also to the delivery of good quality primary care. And, and, and what I mean by this is, for example, I think that in, in some countries you find that there's very limited exposure or no exposure to family medicine, uh, primary care, uh, during undergraduate training and sometimes even during postgraduate training um, in family practice in some settings. Um, and, and that I, I think uh, we need to work towards addressing. Um, there are a number of mechanisms that we can uh, do, undertake to try and achieve that. Um, such as setting up um, primary care departments in universities, um, working towards integrating um, exposure to uh, community primary care throughout uh, medical school at very early stages. And I think this will also help recruitment into primary care 
because it's a big challenge in, in a number of countries as well. Mm -hmm. um, those are those are some uh, very interesting thoughts, and I, I think it, it's a, a very key thing for me that you said working in the west coast of Ireland is that although that there are many things that are similar amongst general practice and family medicine throughout Europe, and there are a lot of things that uh, can be common amongst training, I like the fact that my patient population in the west of Ireland has unique aspects, and therefore I think it's really important that we retain uh, certain elements of uniqueness mm -hmm. amongst uh, amongst general mm -hmm. practice in Europe, even though there should be it should be possible to have a, a, a common base of the, the core skills that are required that wherever you're working with whatever patient population you have those core skills are transmissible um, throughout. So thank you very much for those um, interesting comments Louisa. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I'm going to move on now to um, uh, ask Job as I suppose the current president of Wonka Europe um, Joe, what do you think um, about leadership um, uh, in European general practice? Uh, are there aspects of leadership within general practice that present barriers to bringing us together? Is there a lack of leadership? Do we have adequate leadership? What would you like? To, what would? You, what, are, what are your thoughts? Well, leadership is a, is an important issue in in looking to the future. Uh, as Louisa said, there are uh, significant differences between European countries, and if I look at the people attending or participating in this hangout. I think we can say that people from Denmark, the Netherlands, um, the UK and Ireland have a strong and a very strong established family medicine structure. While other countries in Europe, and if you look at uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Kazakhstan, which is part of Europe in a way, the, the structure and the, the infrastructure is less well developed. So there's a lot of work to be done to bring family medicine um, on the same level in the, all the European countries. Uh, to do so you need a a vision for the future and a vision for the future needs also leadership uh, and some people think leadership is about people who are followed or are leading uh, the way in a way that's which are on the front of something um, for me leadership means that these are people who have a vision which are encouraging which are stimulating which have charisma which share a common goal in a way to to reach something and I think it's the task of the current old leaders to scout young leaders uh, for the future and to find out who is willing to participate in this new Europe for the future. And I think what's necessary for that is that you have a not only look at your own country but you have the opportunity to look at other countries and see the differences between countries and understand the differences in the healthcare settings of these countries depending on the demography of the geographical situation in that country. But nevertheless, systems like or programs like Hippocrates, and where people exchange and look at outside their countries, and Vasco da Gama exchanges, really help us to develop leadership within the young generation. I think that's very important for the future of family medicine in Europe in general. Those are some. Uh, very uh, insightful comments I think um, uh, I think particularly in relation to the fact that uh, there is such a diversity of structure within general practice uh, like you say the four countries that are represented here this evening have very good infrastructures and very good systems in place and yet that isn't the case not only in some of our European countries but on a global basis uh, and really? I think you know I feel very I feel very privileged to be a, a family doctor a GP working in a country where we we really do have good infrastructure and good systems in place so I thank you very much for those uh, very insightful comments. So um, I think that's enough of a taster that we've given our audience uh, because we don't want to, to tell them everything. Um, this is just to whet your appetite for what I hope will be a, a very interactive and a lively uh, discussion and debate that we will have in Barcelona. It's to give you some idea of what, the, what will be discussed and the type of things that will be discussed in the workshop. So please I would invite you all to make sure you book your tickets, book your accommodation and uh, book your, book your uh, re register for the conference. And on that note, I'm going to ask each of our speakers to say good night and good evening in their native language. So, first of all, uh, we'll come to our Danish colleague to say good night. Good night, so thank for your afternoon, and we see you in Barcelona. Thank you very much to our um, Scottish GP. <laughs> uh, we'll, see you. we'll see you in Barcelona, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. And to our Netherlands colleague. Uh, well to Austin and tot ziens in Barcelona. 
And finally, from myself, who is a fake Irish man who can't speak any Irish, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for having joined us. I hope you enjoyed our taster, and we'll see you in Barcelona. Sláin go